everybody, you're tuned in to the Metal Magdalene with Jet here on Metal Messiah Radio. Tonight is our pre-fest show leading up to this weekend's Florida Metal Fest at the Cuban Club in Tampa. And we have another artist who will be appearing at the fest. We have Kelly Schaefer of Atheist. Welcome to the show, Kelly. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Okay, Kelly. Now, first of all, remember, this is only a two-hour show here. (laughs) But give us a little history behind Atheist, when you started out, the current lineup, and what albums you have out, that kind of thing. Are you trying to say I'm chatty? (laughs) No. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, The lineup for this new album? Is that what you mean? Sure! Yeah, well, this is uh, very exciting for... For me personally, because I'm, I'm a big fan of our bass player and our drummer in particular, and uh, Tony Choi playing bass on this new album. Mm-hmm. Well, it'll be the first time myself, Steve Flynn, and Tony Choi will be making a record together. So, really looking forward to that. You know, um, you know that that sound. I have no idea what it's going to be like, but it's going to be tremendous. We're 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 just now sort of digging into the riffs and stuff and uh, starting to put things together. But uh, hopefully by midsummer, it should be ready to go and. Um, so it'll be uh, also Jason Holloway and Chris Martin, our two guitar players, are from Atlanta. And uh, very excited about debuting Chris Martin. He's uh, sort of just one of these young prodigy guys, man, who's just, who just plays our material so well. And so I'm looking forward to writing a record with him. And um, that's going to be it's going to be really fun. And when's the last record you have out? What year was that? 2000, uh, the very end of 2010. Okay, so you're so, kind of uh, due. Yeah, it's been, it's been five years. <laughs> so, uh, come on up. So, so okay, so when was the last time you guys played out? I mean, have you guys been playing out live regularly, or when was the last no. time? No, this, this, uh, this appearance at Florida Metal Fest will be our first in, um, in coming up on, well, probably about four years. We toured wow. for about a year after mm-hmm. the record came out uh, in Europe and in America, and, and then, um, so probably, yeah, I think our last show was in early 2013 in Costa Rica, so it's been a few years, and uh, but, you know, no better place to... to you know, dust our shelves off in our hometown of, you know, uh, the, the Tampa Bay area, and uh, especially on this incredible festival with a lot of a lot of my favorite bands. You know, I'm a huge Trouble fan and huge COC fan, and uh, so it's, it's going to be tremendous. I love the Obituary Boys and Love and Creation. Uh, it's just going to be a big homecoming. I, uh, I can't wait. Just I can't wait for the after party. So, hey, t- <laughs> Kelly, what makes a Florida metal fan different than any other metal fan? Well, this is the death metal capital of the planet. Mm-hmm. So uh, you can imagine that um, at, at any given death metal Tampa show or, or extreme metal Tampa show, you're going to see, you know, get, you know what, it, the way bands have, you know, it's been 25, 30 years for a lot of us. And mm-hmm. uh, so a lot of young people consider that classic, you know, um, a lot of the classic bands that, that form the genre that everybody's um, enjoying so much now come from this area. And so you know, when you have Morbid Angel and Cannibal Corpse and, guys from Cynic and Monstrosity, and, and it's just, it ends up being, um, you know, uh, sort of a death metal Hollywood. You know, we have our own, uh, Hollywood had its 80s decadence, and we have our um, our 80s brutality, you know, and uh, so, and it's always good to see Scott Burns and, and the Morris Brothers, Morris, you know, for more sound, and uh, just, you never know who's going to be there. So for, for us, it's, it's as much fun, you know, seeing everybody. It's like a, a bit of a reunion. Uh, for everybody to be in one place at that time, you know, and uh, and to be able to play for everybody in the, in the Bay Area. Something that doesn't happen a lot, you know, we typically play over in, in Europe quite a lot, and most extreme bands do, because that's where the, you know, that's where people uh, embrace it. So to be able to play right in our backyard is uh, on, on this level, and uh, on that stage, is going to be tremendous. So you got the fest coming up, you're doing some writing, and did you say, do you have any other shows planned for the rest of the year? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we're just now getting started. This is our, our sort of kickoff to everything mm-hmm. we're going to be doing. So we'll, we'll probably spend a lot of time in the first part of the year writing. And mm-hmm. then, um, you know, we'll see us doing some festivals. And, and uh, we signed with a new management company, Extreme Management Group, out of New York. Mm-hmm. And, um, so we're going we're gonna to take it to another level on, on this album. Last time around, you know, we've always been a a fairly organic band in terms of, of how we do things. We, you know, we've rarely traveled with a road crew. Um, you know, we, we tour manage ourselves. Uh, so it's always been that way. And so now we're just going to, we're going to kind of dip our toe in the water of, uh, of having management and, and, and exercising some new opportunities and uh, being able to play a little bit more. We've never been much um, in terms of touring. We, you know, we don't do a whole lot of it. So this 
album and in the years to come we look forward to getting to some places that we haven't been yet like uh, New Zealand and mm -hmm. Japan and Australia and uh, South America as well so um, yeah a lot of stuff uh, just kind of unfolding as, as the year unfolds so uh, and so we're hearing a lot from us this year. Yeah, it sounds like it. You know, we're looking forward to it. So where can people go to keep up with what's going on? Do you have any websites out there or a Facebook or any of yeah. that stuff? Well, yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, Facebook.com slash official atheist. Mm -hmm. And um, they'll find our Facebook site there, which is very, you know, we're, we're all on it on a regular basis. So any questions or any, anything anybody has, I'm, I'm pretty easy to find at Kelly Schaefer on Facebook. Um, you know, if anybody has any questions about the band or what's coming up, you know, I'm always available to answer all those. And, uh, I like keeping in touch with everybody. And it's one of the, one of the good things about the internet mm -hmm. uh, amidst all the, uh, the trolls and <laughs> stuff like that, you know, uh, there's a lot of great people that I would never have the opportunity to, to talk to that, you know, we've, we've shared this bond of music, you know, over the course of a couple of decades. And, um, I just met a guy the other day, um, filming a documentary, um, named Lutz, who was from Mexico City, and, mm -hmm. you know, he's been listening to our music his whole life, and, uh, you know, it, 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 it's, it's very bizarre to meet people that have been listening to you <laughs> for 20 years that you don't actually know, and then mm -hmm. you finally meet them, and, you know, you've been sort of sharing time together, but you didn't know it, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, it's interesting to see how it affects yep. uh, different people, and, you know, I'm that way very much, you know, the soundtrack to my life is really important, the music I listen to, and the artists that make it are really important to me, so, uh, yeah, it's, um, I'd love to, to stay in touch. I wish that I could be in touch with more of my favorite artists, you know, but they, they make themselves fairly unavailable. <laughs> so I've always been the kind of guy who likes to be very available. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially to the fans. Okay, so people could go check out your Facebook page, your official Facebook page, to keep up with what you got going on, because it sounds like you got a lot going on this year. This weekend yep. is the Florida Metal Fest. Have fun there, and thank you for coming on the show. And when you get that album out, we'll see you back here on the show, Kelly. Perfect. Thank you, Chad. I appreciate it. See you, Ed. <laughs> this is Justin Dependo from Leveling Creation. Can't wait to see all you guys down the Florida Metal Fest this weekend. Come down and tear shit up. And we're back, and tonight is our pre-fest show for the Florida Metal Fest going down this weekend at the Cuban Club in Tampa. And we have one last guest with us. We snuck in Philip from Malevolent Creation. Welcome to the show, Phil. Thank you, sweetheart. How you doing? Uh, we're doing great here up at the freezing northeast. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Phil, Malevolent released your new album this year, or last year now it is already, Dead Man's Path. I know, kind of feels weird to tell you. <laughs> I know, and it actually made it on my top list that I hear at the year-end wrap-up. How's the album been received by your adoring public? I am very, very, very proud of it. I can't believe how many, you know, lists it's made. And number one is on the list, and top ten, and top five, and top one hundred. I mean, uh, it, it, it makes me feel really good because, uh, you know, we, we really put a fucking, it took a long time. So a lot of, a lot of things that happened in the last five years since we recorded our last album, and Everything seemed, you know, we all, it, a lot of shit happened last minute, you know, in between uh, changing drummers, finishing the writing of the album and everything, but it's always good because we're all on the same page and we just knew, you know, uh, even having Ben Swain or Mix and Master it, I mean, everything, we're very lucky, <laughs> everything came together really good and a lot of people are really happy with it, you know. It's just, uh, it's definitely one of the better and a loved one creation albums. I mean, it's, uh, you know, we, we always try to do the best there, you know, try to, re to write the heaviest songs we can and do the best job possible. And I, I'm, re I'm really happy and I appreciate all the good feedback. And it's like you said, this is also the album that has the return to Justin DePinto on drums. Oh, what's it like having him back? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I mean, there's, 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 I mean, we'd be here talking forever, but Justin, you know, he was in the band for a while. Mm -hmm. for, you know, back when we did The Will to Kill, which was in 202. <laughs> gotten injured after we recorded the album and had some uh, problems, 
you know, with his arm. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it must, he'll, probably, he'll probably explain that story to you. But, uh, I mean, uh, we had so many tours booked, and, and we ended up getting, um, like, you know, Dave Coros, mm-hmm. re- you know, helped out and rejoined the band for a while. We had Tony Loreno. You know, mm-hmm. at Nile. I mean, he's Tony. He's Tony's helped us out a few times, many times on tour. You know, we're very fortunate to have uh, a lot of good drummer friends. But I mean, Justin has just always been one of one of my favorite favorite buddies. You know, I mm-hmm. just love the kid. I love his attitude. I love his drumming style. I mean, he's just. <laughs> He's just like me, man. I mean, <laughs> me and him could get into a room and write an album in a fucking day. <laughs> you know, it's just, uh, it's just, he brings a lot of, uh, he brings a lot of excitement and energy and a lot of, you know, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of fun back into the band. You know what I mean? There's like, there's no fucking crying or any fucking whining. You know, we mm-hmm. get into a room, we start fucking throwing ideas around and, you know what I mean? He's, uh, it's so easy to work with, you know. It's just uh, it was like it was like a, a miracle, and we had five. You know, we needed to at least write five or six, seven more songs. Wow! To complete the album, and I mean, uh, I basically went up to his house <laughs> for a week, and me and him and our other guitar player Gio just fucking hashed it out, bought a bunch of booze, and like he got down to business, man, and demoed the rest of the songs, and then. You know, like a month later, we're in the studio recording the <laughs> album, and uh, I mean, I, I couldn't be more happier. You know, we, we all, we, we all the guys in the band, we love Justin. He's like and, a ball of energy. <laughs> and, and, and here you go, and this I mean, album, this album turned out to be like one of your best ones ever. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, and I, I definitely contribute that to you know the, the excitement I have him back in the band because it, it just. Just made everything more fun, you know, more exciting. Everybody, everybody was happy. Everybody was, you know, there wasn't no arguing or complaining or anything like that. You know, I mean, he's just, uh, I don't know if you ever met Justin, he's, he's just like the most coolest dude ever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's not only a great drummer, but he's a great person, so... <laughs> well, you know, well, he makes life easy for us. We're gonna have him on when we do the Sick Drummer Magazine uh, brutal beatings interview, anyway, so we can hear all about him then <laughs> from him. <laughs> yeah, I mean he's a riot, man. I mean, I love him. He's a, he's a great guy. So, I'm really, <laughs> really, really happy that he's back in the band, and you know we get to tour around the world again together. So yeah, and you know what, Phil? Be a blast. S- Speaking about that, what do you guys got going on so far for uh, tours for this year? Got anything? Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh, we have a lot. I mean, <laughs> now that I'm home and the holidays are over, it's back to business and a lot of booking agents, a lot of label, you know, dealing with labels and mm-hmm. booking agents and promoters. But, you know, I know that we are definitely going to be doing a U.S. tour. Nice. We're definitely doing South America in April. We're definitely going to be back in Europe. We're definitely going back to Asia. <laughs> we're definitely going back to Australia. I mean, you're going to be we're busy be playing places we've never played before. Nice. <laughs> I mean, we really, you know we really got to capitalize on this new record, and then mm-hmm. also this uh, 2016 marks the 25th anniversary of our first album. Oh boy. So we might, we're going to squeeze some special shows in for that, and maybe uh, festival appearances and whatnot, and then there's 2017, which marks uh, the 25th anniversary for our second album, Retribution. God damn, you're getting old. So, so people are already been, you know, uh, contacting us about mm-hmm. the games and making us swear about it, and I'm like, fuck, man, i got to relearn all these songs again. <laughs> <laughs> play quite a few of them, but, you know, with 12 albums out, it's kind of hard to keep tabs on everything. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, hey, this weekend, the Florida Metal Fest in Tampa, what are your thoughts on this, and what are you looking forward to during this this fest? I, I mean, I think it's the coolest fucking thing ever. <laughs> I mean, like, well, John and Donald, you know, the Tardy Brothers from Obituary, I mean, those guys 
guy is, you know, shit. I've known this guy since we moved here. I, one of the first bands I met, like in 1988, and one of the first bands we played with. And I remember the day their first album came out in 89, and I even remember their, you know, demos when they were executioner, how brutal they were. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, I mean, they've, they've always been the coolest guys ever, and, you know, I mean, that just the, all the Florida bands. I mean, it's, you know, ESI's playing, ABS playing. I mean, they, you know, and, oh, and so many legendary bands. CLC, one of my favorite bands of all time. Trouble, one of my favorite bands. Even Madball, mm -hmm. which I remember their singer, Freddie, was 13 years old. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the Gothic front. And he would jump on stage yep. with his older brother, Roger. That's and right. A Gothic front song. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I, you know, but of course, you know, we've played shows and festivals with all these bands over the years, but... Especially for the Florida guys, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, you know, we've been playing shows together since '88. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, you know, before even any of our bands had albums out. Yeah. So it's like uh, you know, it's, I, I, I can't imagine it not being cool. <laughs> I think it'll be, you know, we're gonna definitely be laughing about a lot of old stories, and <laughs> a lot of old crazy things that we did back in the old days and whatnot. But I'm sure it'll be, you know, it'll be really fun. And I'm glad that the guys in obituary, you know. Uh, Finally, finally, you know, they, they talked about doing something like this before, but they finally came through with it and stuff, you know. And I, I mean, if you've ever met any, any of the guys in obituary, they're all like the, the nicest guys, the coolest guys ever. I love all those guys. So, I mean, you know, I, I know we're, or everybody's going to be in good hands. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping. <laughs> oh, no, it will be. It's going to be. You know, I can't imagine anything going wrong. No. Like, uh, it sounds you know, like all the bands. <laughs> I mean, I, I've met all these bands. I've known, you know, we've played with all these bands, and I, I, there's, I don't think there's a rotten apple, you no. know, out of anybody. No, so it sounds like I'm it's actually really looking forward to <laughs> playing the show, and I, I think it's going to be a great show, and I. Looking forward to seeing a lot of old friends. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be a great time. Everybody I talk to, half the thing they want to do is go and meet all their all old friends like you were just talking about and enjoy the metal. And this is actually a show that's put on by metal fans. I mean, when I talk to Donald, he's like, we're putting this on as fans. He goes, we're not promoters. We're fans, and I want people to know that. We don't put shows on. We're just getting everybody that's together. True. Yeah, I mean it really is the truth. I mean, they, I'm, Donald has been and his brother have been talking about doing something like this for some time now. You know, there's always a question of is it possible to do it in Florida? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and, you know, can we get the right bands on the bill? Can we, you know, is it doable? Or are we going to lose our ass? Are we going <laughs> to, you know, be able to pull it off? Yeah, well, you are. He is think, now. Uh, oh, I think everything, all the planets have aligned. <laughs> yep, yep. And uh, I think it's gonna, it's gonna be a success. It, I think so too. And Phil, I know this was a last minute thing for you, and you're busy and stuff. But thank you for coming on the show, telling us a little bit about the band and what's going on at the Florida Metal Festival, and have a great time there. Oh, you know, if anyone knows me, you know I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for everything, Phil. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart.